After many years of testing all the latest and greatest side-by-sides and ATVs, I'm rarely surprised. Generally speaking, specs and appearance hint strongly at the kind of ride you can expect from the vehicle sitting in front of you. But every now and then, a side-by-side -side or ATV does something more. Every now and then, my pre-ride expectations are squashed after only a few miles on the trail. They may be few and far between, but these types of surprises do happen. With its very utilitarian appearance and a feature list that reads more like a tractor than an ATV, it would be both easy and forgivable to mistake the John Deere 825i as an all-work, no-play type unit. But a mistake that would certainly be. The heart of the 825 is its three-cylinder mill. Produced for John Deere by Cherry, it's packing electronic fuel injection, 12 valves, double overhead cams, and is outputting approximately 50 horsepower. On paper, it doesn't seem like anything special. But what's made us fall head over heels for this thing is its buttery, almost electric smoothness. The 825i is also equipped with what John Deere calls their very throttle which adjusts how the engine responds to throttle inputs based on how light or hard you hit the pedal. In short, it's ultra smooth when you're taking it easy, and it can break the tires loose when you want to take things up a notch. Power is transferred through a slick, high-low transmission to a set of CVT clutches. Shiftable, fully locked 4x4 can be toggled via a dash-mounted switch, and you can unlock the rear diff with a lever down here to save your grass if needed. Something that might surprise you about not just the 825i, but John Deere side-by-sides in general, is that Deere offers a massive list of upgrades for every side-by-side -side in their lineup. What's even more impressive is that not only can you load up your ride with cool toys, but you can custom order your 825i straight from the factory in just about any combination you want. Just like buying a car, you check off the features you like, wait a few weeks, and boom, the side-by-side -side of your dreams shows up at your dealer, ready to go. This unit came to us with a number of upgrades already installed. High back bucket seats, a roof, doors, front and rear brush guards, and auxiliary lighting, all kinds of cool toys. Its 75 watt alternator is capable of supplying more than enough juice for anything else we may want to throw at it. But there's no question, the nicest feature of this vehicle is its power tilting Linex coated dump box. Why is this so sweet? Well, it goes hand in hand with another of the 825's impressive specifications, its cargo capacity. The 825 can tow a massive 1,500 pounds, but it can haul a very conservatively rated 1,000 pounds in the bed. I don't know about you, but a cargo bed with 1,000 pounds of whatever isn't something I wanna try and lift. By this point, it's gotta be pretty obvious. Despite its racy green and yellow paint scheme and trick aluminum wheels, the 825i is built to work, hard. That fact was never a surprise to us, and it shouldn't have been to you either. If you need to get the job done, you've always been able to depend on a John Deere, and the 825i is no exception. But here's the kicker. This fantastic utility vehicle has become one of the Dirt Tracks crew's favorite trail rides as well. When we need a multi-purpose vehicle, this is the one we fight over. Why? Simply put, this thing rides freaking amazing. It might only have an average eight inches of front and nine inches of rear suspension travel, and it might only have preload adjustable shocks, but man, that thing makes bumps disappear. It's not overly fast, and even if it was, it's speed limited to 44 miles an hour. On the trail, that's more than enough though. The driving position is more Greyhound bus than it is desert buggy, but that's not a big deal either. That ultra smooth motor combined with soft plush suspension and excellent power steering make the 825i one of the easiest, most relaxing side-by-sides to drive, even on the gnarliest trails. Excellent mud protection and a relocated CV intake mean even the worst conditions won't stop you and you'll remain comfortable clean and surprisingly dry as well. John Deere does not advertise the 825i as a sport utility machine, and its specs don't suggest that it is one. It's impossible to ignore that it's less than heart pounding top speed is gonna limit the kind of recreational riding you might wanna do with it. But at the end of the day, most people don't ride trails at 60 miles an hour. We like to think we do, but it's just not reality. 
What we all really want from a sport ute is the lowest number of compromises with the highest level of capability. The 825i would be easy to overlook for anything but utility purposes. But that would be a huge mistake. Head over to your local John Deere dealer and have a look at an 825i. Check out the crazy list of factory available options and ignore the voice in your head telling you this thing can't be fun on the trail because that voice is very wrong. Like the video you just saw? Do you want to see more? Click the subscribe link and add the Dirt Tracks channel and you're going to see a whole lot more great content.